So, same time tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jacqueline Elisabeth and I will be playing Jerry. Hi, I'm David Lee Hawks and I am playing George. Hi, my name is Nessa Amherst and I will be playing Anthony. Do you have any sevens? Nope, go fish. Yes, he does, George. Damn it, Anthony. You're such a snitch. Jerry, is it too much to ask for you not to cheat at cards just once? Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> hey, is lunch ready yet? Yep, just finished it. Nice. Why are we eating macaroni and cheese again? Because macaroni and cheese is my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite too. Do you not like it, Jerry? I don't hate it, but I would like to have something different every once in a while. You know? Okay, then. You cook lunch what tomorrow. Aren't you gonna clean the pot? Yes, but I would like to eat first. Okay, jeez. So, uh, is this how you're gonna win over Mary? Cooking her macaroni and cheese? Well, no, I was going to take her out to someplace nice. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What's the problem? I'm just gonna be honest with you, Aunt. We don't think going out with Mary is a good idea. What? Why not? Because she's like super popular and you're uh, not. What does that matter? Well, don't you think she would only want to date someone who is also popular? Do we live in a fucking cartoon or something? Well, it would be pretty cool if we did. <laughs> yeah, we could be superheroes. Ooh, yeah. I would want to have the power of mind control. I could use it to mess with my enemy's head, make them go insane even. <laughs> well, we don't. So all this stupid bullshit about how popular kids only date popular kids isn't real. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Besides, she seemed really excited about it. She said she would love to. Jesus, you're naive. She only said that because she didn't want to embarrass you in front of everyone. What do you mean? There wasn't anyone else there. Trust me, Aunt. She was just trying to be nice. 
She has no intention of dating you. But that doesn't make any sense. She said that she was really excited and that she always wanted to get to know me better. Why do you think she has no interest if she would say that? What can I say? Girls are weird. And Anth, to be fair, you're pretty weird too. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, whenever you're around someone you don't know very well, you start to act pretty awkwardly. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Remember the time you asked out Ashley freshman year? Oh my god. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, do you have any plans Friday night? You do? Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> yes, yes, it's hilarious. Look. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't make a fool of yourself. And the best way to do that is not to take any risks by going on this date. You really think I'll look stupid? Yes, we do. Okay, fine. I'll let Mary know I can't make it. So, wait, you're just gonna back out now? What? Of course he is, George. He's such a pussy. But you guys told me to back out. Shh. He doesn't, he doesn't have any balls. He can't take any risks. He's just a scared little kid. And that's why he'll die alone. God damn it, you guys! You do this every time, and I hate it! Do what? Pull a complete fucking 180. You told me first to not go out with her, and now you're insulting me for not having enough courage to do so? Well, only because it's a lose-lose situation. Yeah, you shouldn't have asked her to do it in the first place. Well, maybe I shouldn't have, but there's nothing I can do about that now. See? What did I tell you? <laughs> There's just no winning with you guys. There is one option that's a winner, but you don't want to consider that one, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. You never do, do you? <sighs> Can we please change the subject? No. You've been hiding it from too long. You need to at least consider ending it all. I have considered it. I just... If I take my life, there's no turning back from that. I can't change my mind later if I decide that I don't like it. There's no coming back from that. But wouldn't that be a good thing? Maybe. I don't want to act like this isn't painful. It is. I'm sick of all the second guessing, the never ending hopelessness. I hate it. I really, really hate it. And I want it all to be gone. But there are things in life that I do enjoy. I don't want to miss out on all the exciting things that could be in my future. Wow. What are you gonna do then? Go get help? Maybe. Mm. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> do you realize how fucking weak you would look if you did that? Why would I look weak? <sighs> because... You can't even handle this by yourself. Mm. You need the help of others, mm. medical professionals, mm. or some stupid bullshit pills. Mm. I'm warning you, dude. You will lose all of your friends if you go down this road. Not friends, George. Acquaintances. 
He doesn't even have friends. That's not true. Yes, it is. What about you guys? You're my friends. I'm not your friend. Then why the hell are you even hanging out with me, Jerry? Why do you spend every day with me if you're not my friend? <sighs> Where else could I go? Anywhere! Anywhere other than right by my side all the time! And you know I couldn't do that even if I wanted to! My friends aren't gonna leave me just cause I'm getting help. Be real, dude. Do you think they could handle that all the time? All of your depression and anxiety? Whew. No one wants to deal with all of that. Mary certainly wouldn't want to. SHUT UP! Ooh, damn. And seriously, on top of all of this, you want to add a girlfriend into the mixture as well? Ooh. George! Nothing has become official or serious or anything like that. We're just going on a date to get to know each other. But why even risk it? Why are you even trying to get close to people in the first place? You know that you're just going to burden them. Make them sad and worried as well. It's just not worth it. George, don't bother. He's fucking selfish. Only cares about himself and whatever temporary pleasures he might get. He doesn't care if he hurts people with his baggage. That's not true! And just think, if he's ever lucky enough to get married to some woman who'll probably be insane, or blind, or both, he will have children. Man, children who he'll pass on his sickness to suffer just because he desired a little bit of action with a girl. If that ain't selfish, I don't know what is. No! That's it! Get out! Get the fuck out of here! Make me pussy! I wish I could. But you can, though. There's one easy way to stop this. To get rid of me and George forever. Why don't you just do it? Just end it all. Get rid of us forever. You're actually going to do it? I... I don't want you guys around anymore. Then do it! You're actually going to do it. Isn't that what you want? Do you realize how many people you'll hurt if you do that? Of course he does, but he'll do it anyways, because he's selfish. And the ones whom he doesn't hurt will think that he is weak. He couldn't even endure his own demons when plenty of other people do every day. Or maybe they'll think he just wanted attention. That maybe people will finally notice him. What better way to get people to know you exist by simply ending your existence? Anthony, you're a sad, pathetic little child. And the world would have been a better place if you were never born. to deserve this. Why did they torture me so? <laughs> uh.
Get out! Get out! Leave me alone! I don't want to deal with you anymore! I don't want to hear what you have to say! I don't want to feel this way anymore! Why? 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 I just want to feel happy again, but I don't even remember what that's like. I'm not asking her out without, but I just feel worse than I did before. What can I do? No matter what decision I make, it feels like I've done something unforgivable. Like I can't even forgive myself. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry that I dragged you all into this. I know that I just made things worse for you. And I want to make it better. But I just don't know how! I can't do anything! I'm worthless! I'm a failure! And nothing I do is going to change that! Nothing can make it better! I'm just so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> so, same time tomorrow. Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Still, I took you out like a dawn. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats in a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby, you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think of something. Lunchtime by Robert Howard, featuring Nessa Amherst as Anthony, David Lee Hawks as George, and Jacqueline Elizabeth as Jerry.